Majority of the game, when he, he first started, game first started, every time Kyrie touched the ball, they just booing him. They was booing him, heckling him the whole time. And throughout the game, it's, it's escalated to the point where they were just, you can see him on the sideline just, uh, they, uh, he's inbounding the ball. Mm-hmm. They were three or four guys, and maybe you see it throughout the day on the show, when Kyrie's on the sideline uh, trying to respond to the fans, there's a couple of white dudes sitting behind him, Give him a hard time. And his brother that's sitting down to his lower right looked mm-hmm. up and like, because Kyrie made some gestures. Right, in right. In the back of his head. <laughs> he gave uh, he, he, he gave them like, he said, we're, we're number one with both his hands, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, the middle finger behind his head. And after he made a three-point shot, one particular play turned around <laughs> and, and shot a bird at the guy. Now, I don't know how you, you guys feel about this, but at some point, you ain't going to talk to me any kind of way. I don't care what you're paying money. I don't care whether or not you know you call yourself a spectator and and, and we're, mm-hmm. we're entertainers, but I mean, to to talk junk at me fine, but to to go over the line and really come at me personally, then that's 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 when the game changes. So I ain't got no problem with what Kyrie did. Now, would I would I have prefer he do something else? Yeah, right. but I have no problem how he responded. But here's Kyrie on the back and forth with the fans. Let's take a listen right quick. Look, I, I mean, I'm I'm just. Where I'm from, you know, I'm used to all these antics and people being close nearby. Um, you know, it's nothing new when I come into this building, what it's going to be like. But it's the same energy they have for me, and I'm going to have the same energy for them. And it's not every fan. I don't want to attack every fan, every Boston fan. But, um, you know, when people start yelling, bitch, and fuck you, and all this stuff, it's about so much you can take uh, as a competitor. And, um, you know, we're the ones expected to be docile and be humble and take a humble approach. Nah, f- that's the playoffs. This is what it is. You know, I, I've, I know what to expect in here, and it's the same energy I'm giving back to them. Yeah. Thoughts. Interesting. Thoughts. I think, um, I agree. You know, you're not, not going to let people talk to you any kind of way, but is it all part of the game? I mean, where he's the professional in this, you know, I don't agree with what he did. But I think he should just f- stay focused. Which um, you know who else agrees with me? Well, who's that? Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> and Shaquille. yeah, and he who? said he said that you know they were talking about Kyrie, but a lot of the athletes. This is happening sure. a lot now, right? Okay, where where they're going after the fans are coming back, same energy as Kyrie says, and they're like, you know, people have paved the way years ago. They all had to go through this. You Sha- Shaq and who else? Who, who else is talking about that? Charles Barkley. Let me tell you something. Charles Barkley. He said, po- "Man up." That's what Charles. Charles Barkley is supposed to child for going <laughs> at people in a, in a damn stands. He he, the last one who who, who should be communicating that. He said to these anybody. guys these days are whining. Okay, I don't know. If, I don't, look, I don't know if he's whining. I'm not sure. Look, at the end of the day, his reaction is his rea- his reaction. I don't know. How many things they've said? I don't yeah. know what they were saying. Right. I don't know mm-hmm. how often they were saying it or what have you. He flipped in the bird. He flipped them off. He gave him forty-five or forty-nine, whatever he gave him. Thirty-nine, last yeah, thirty-nine. Right. He did what he normally does. He gives them the business, and, and he's like, "I own this place, and I'm out." <laughs> right. Right. I don't know why people try to make a big deal out of it. Like, like all of a sudden, an NBA player or NFL player, or what have you, responds to something that a fan is doing, some antics off the court. At the end of the day, though, I think the arena should actually get it somewhat under control, especially when you're that close, because they're also yelling things that you just don't want to hear if you're there with your 12 year old. Right. 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 Watching an NBA final series that you paid $1,500 a ticket for. 